Sports Media presents Inside the Huddle, presented by HMS Home Marketing Services. Inside the Huddle is filmed live on location at the House of Blues, Monday nights in downtown Dallas. Let's go, go, go. Inside the Huddle, Inside the Huddle, the Huddle. presented by HMS. And welcome back to the 25th anniversary season of Inside the Huddle. I am your host, former Cowboy Tyler Klutz. We are joined here by current starting left guard Ronald Leary. Monster. Monster, thanks for joining us, Ronald. Oh, yeah, thanks for having me, man. Uh, we want to thank HMS, Home Marketing Services, for being our title sponsor this year. Uh, Ron, let's go ahead and dive into the show, man. It's, uh, it's been a great season, a great ride, and... Uh, I'm going to say a large part of that is because of you and uh, the big boys up front. You guys have done an incredible job um, making Dak feel comfortable back there, uh, propelling Zeke Elliott to be the leading rusher in the league. And uh, I've, I've got to hand it to you. I've played with you for three years, man. It was a pleasure watching you work. Uh, but go ahead and share a little bit about this team and, and perspective. We haven't had any offensive linemen on this year. So give us the perspective from the big boys up front who don't get nearly enough credit for what you guys do. Yeah, um, I mean, I think, I think we, um, the, what makes our group so special, we take a lot of pride in what we do. Mm -hmm. you, know, um, you know, we know that we're not gonna get the recognition, and even though this year we're getting a lot of recognition, yeah. which is more than usual. But, Still uh, not enough, man. Still right, not enough. but uh, I mean, but we know that we, um, we take pride in being like the engine of the team. Mm -hmm. You know, if you talk to anybody, you know, the team only, go, only goes as far as the offensive line, so we take real, uh, you know, we work hard every day. We try to be the first people in, the last people out. And um, we know if we execute our blocks and do everything the right way, you know, Dak's going to make the right read. Zeke's going to hit the hole. Mm -hmm. You know, we got great receivers, you know, from 88 all the way to 11, uh, Witt, you know, T. Will, all of them. Man, we load it. So, you know, we just try to do our jobs and make everything easy for everybody else. Talk about what you guys have to do extra, you know, as an offensive line to really make sure that you guys are out there executing, dominating, so that Zeke, Dak, Dez, Witt, Bees, all these guys can be these superstars that they become. I think uh, a lot of that goes to just uh, attention to detail. Mm -hmm. You know, offensive line is a position where you really have to be it has to be five men thinking exactly alike. You know, if it's one guy that's not thinking like the other, then, you know, it falls apart. Right. So, you know, we, we spend a lot of time with each other on the field, off the field, you know, in, inside that uh, building, outside that building. You know, we do dinners once a week all the time. You know, we have a group chat where we talk about things. Some things I can't <laughs> say what we talk about in front of all these people like that. But We'll uh, get it out of them by the end of the show. Right. <laughs> But nah, man, we, we, you know, we care about each other. Mm -hmm. And I think when you care about each other and, you know, you got real genuine love for the man next to you, you know, you play harder because you don't want to let that man down. And right. I think that goes from tackle to tackle, you know, and not just the starting five, you know, the guys that don't play as much, everybody, you know. Um, and I think that's what makes our group so special. There's no doubt, no doubt in my mind that you guys have created something that is going to leave a lasting impression on this city, uh, on this team for a long time because of, of what you guys are pouring into it and the others are reaping the benefits of it. So, man, applaud to you. Now, we talk about this unit. We're going to dive into Ron as an individual when we get back and the incredible journey, the obstacles that he's overcome. So join us. We'll be right back. He's upset you took his parking spot. Bob Lavelle here for Home Marketing Services. Now, HMS has helped thousands of people get out of the rent race and become homeowners. We're very good at dealing with challenging situations. Look, if you're still renting but would rather own your own home, don't you think it's time you called or emailed for your free evaluation? Quit making the landlord richer. Call today, 972-392-9595. Put us to the test. Get out of the rent race. Call HMS. Hey, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my partner, Rick Dykes. Thank you to the employees of the Rager Dykes Auto Group. Thank you to our customers. Thank you to the communities that we're in. Just got this list. 
The Rager Dykes Auto Group for the third year in a row made the Inc. 5000 fastest growing privately held companies in America. We were top 1% in revenue. We're the number one auto group. We've had over 165% growth in the last three years. Thanks to everybody involved. Come see us. This is Mark and Michelle. They are certainly enjoying themselves. You see, they're on an Apple vacation at the Adults Only Secrets Resorts and Spas. Apple takes care of all the travel details. Secrets takes care of unlimited luxury. So the only thing Mark and Michelle have to take care of is... Making a secret. This is an Apple vacation. And welcome back to the 25th anniversary season of Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Tyler Kluss. We're joined here by starting left guard, Ronald Leary, uh, Big Ron, as we all like to call him. Uh, so we talked a little bit about the unit. Now we want to t learn a little bit about Ron. Now, Ron, I'm, I've been really excited to have him on because he's got an incredible story, incredible journey, overcame a lot. Um, but let's back up a little bit before your story recently. Let's talk about you and, and your history with football. You didn't start playing football until you were a junior in high school, right? Right, right, right. So how come you didn't play? I mean, you're a monster, so like, why why were you not out on the field early on? Was there a reason for that? Man, I was a hoop star. Ah, you know, I thought okay. I was gonna be the next, I had dreams of being the next Mike, man, but <laughs> I realized I, was, I wasn't getting tall, I was getting wider. <laughs> so, you know, I, I, had to, I had to make the change to football. Yeah, just so you guys know, every NFL player was was a baller basketball player. Yeah, and, and we Ron all say no that. Exception. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and it's best rapper and who was the best hooper, for sure, is, right. is the, always the debate in the locker room. Definitely. Um, okay, so didn't play football uh, until high school, mm -hmm. your junior year, but you did play well enough to get a scholarship to Memphis. Talk yeah. about your playing days at Memphis and, and, you know, having to be versatile then is like you are now. Yeah, uh, well, like you said, uh, uh, when, I mean, I was really shocked that, you know, I started playing ball so late, so I went to a lot of camps and stuff. I ended up getting offered to Memphis and some other schools. But, um, yeah, I was a left tackle at Memphis, and um, I came in. I didn't play my first year. I redshirted, and I ended up starting the rest of my, uh, with the last four years there at left tackle. And um, it was my senior year, maybe like halfway through the season, when my coach came up to me. He was like, scouts want to see if I can play guard. Mm -hmm. You know, because, I mean, I was built for an uh, NFL guard. So, uh, like halfway through the season, they moved me to right guard. And I've been playing left tackle for the last three and a half years. Yeah. They moved me to right guard. So it was a, a big, big change, change, big yeah. change. But um, I mean, I mean, I did all right. You know, uh, I ended up going to the combine. I did all right there. And, um, you know, God blessed me with the opportunity to, uh, to, play, in NFL, uh, to play in the NFL. You know, uh, it was a big issue about, uh, you know, getting drafted, things yeah. like that. You know, uh, they had me, they had me uh, what paid to be like a second, third rounder. but. Um, you know, I had some issues with uh, at the combine about some medical stuff, so I didn't uh, end up getting drafted. Mm -hmm. You know, and that kind of stung a little bit. You know, because uh, growing up, you know, you you watch the combine, yeah, and you know, you see guys do it, and you want to get drafted on draft day, get your name called, and all that. But uh, I guess that wasn't the plan for me. Um, and it, you know, it put me in the right spot though, and uh, put me right here with the Dallas Cowboys. You know, not only are you a you know a guy that can play a lot of positions, but I think the reason you had the opportunity to have such a high grade is the way that you play ball. Like you play ball at a completely different level than any other offensive lineman that I've I've played with, man. And and that says a lot because I played with some really good players. But Ron's nastiness on the field on every single play is unparalleled. And and, and this is me just giving you some props, man, because I'm so proud of you and the way that you play. And and we're gonna talk about next segment what you've had to overcome recently and, and the ups and downs of, of 2015 and 2016. So when we come back, we're gonna find out about Ron and, and the obstacles he overcame. Join us, we'll be right back.
Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. This is Mark and Michelle. They are certainly enjoying themselves. You see, they're on an Apple vacation at the adults-only Secrets Resorts and Spas. Apple takes care of all the travel details. Secrets takes care of unlimited luxury. So the only thing Mark and Michelle have to take care of is... Making a secret. This is an Apple vacation. Hey, I just want to say thank you. Thank you to my partner Rick Dykes. Thank you to the employees of the Rager Dykes Auto Group. Thank you to our customers. Thank you to the communities that we're in. Just got this list. The Rager Dykes Auto Group for the third year in a row made the Inc. 5000 fastest growing privately held companies in America. We were top 1% in revenue. We're the number one auto group. We've had over 165% growth in the last three years. Thanks to everybody involved. Come see us. Welcome back to the 25th anniversary season of Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Tyler Klutz, joined here by Big Ron Leary, starting left guard for your Cowboys. Uh, so last segment, we talked about your journey coming to the Cowboys. Now we're going to talk about your time with the Cowboys. Uh, first start, 2013, uh, and then played well, 2013, eight and eight season, missed the playoffs, 2014 rolls around. Uh, you win the starting battle at, uh, at the left guard and uh, have a great year. I mean, DeMarco Murray leads the league in rushing, had an awesome year. You played at a Pro Bowl level all year. I think you were an alternate, correct? Pro Bowl oh, alternate? Something like that, yeah. And, I mean, should have been, been in Hawaii for sure. But uh, had a great year. So then adversity hits again in 2015. Talk us through what happened through that, uh, you know, coming back from injury and then your starting jobs in jeopardy. Uh, yeah, well, like you said, um, you know, I felt, you know, 2014 was a real good year. You know, that was the year I really think that the O-line really started becoming that group. And, uh, you know, you, you know, you have a good season. You go into the offseason feeling good. And uh, like you say, you know, uh, that uh, the situation happened. And uh, I ended up getting hurt uh, what, what, the first game of the season, yeah. actually. Yeah. yeah. And uh, came back, you know, was out for a little while. Came back, you know, just kind of feeling the pressure of everything like that. And uh, really wasn't a hundred percent, but you know, I mean, you play you ball, to go so back you, in. right? Yeah, you know yeah. how it is. You know, you want to play. Well, I wasn't playing, and uh, I mean, it was tough. I'm not gonna even sit up here and, yeah. and sugarcoat it at all, man. It was one of the toughest things I ever been through, you know, because when you know you can play and you know you had the ability to play, and it's something that you love, and it's taken away from you, you know, that stings. You know, it's just like any other job, but um, you know, I'm a real strong believer in faith. You know, I'm a uh, strong Christian, and um. You know, it took a lot. It took a lot. I had to lean on God a lot through that time. You know, um, just to keep my mind right and being able to make sure I stayed ready for you know whatever the opportunity came. And um, you know, this year, you know, I mean, you hate to see anybody get hurt. You know, I'm real cool with Lyle. You know, it's no bad blood between yeah. us. Even though people try to start stuff between, of course. but you know, Me, we from media guys, right? Right. You yeah. know, me and him, we we from the same place. You know, we yeah. grew up probably around right around the corner from each other. So you know, we have no problem with each other. And, you know, my number was called what, week three yeah. when I found out he was going to be out for the year. And um, I mean, I'm just glad I was ready to play ball, man. I, I miss playing ball, man. I love it. Yeah. You know, I, I play ball with a lot of passion, man. You know, and I'm just glad to be back playing ball. I think that you were prepared beyond uh, beyond what you needed to be. And, and when you stepped in, I think the, L, the level of play by the offensive line went up another notch. And so commend you for, for battling through that. It's, it's a cutthroat league. It's hard. Not everybody understands that you know, as they watch, right? They think everything's flashy and nice. And, and that's one thing here at Inside the Huddle, we try to shine a light on, th there's some hard times that, that oh, yeah. players yep. go through and, and some really dark times. And, uh, and man, I just commend you for the way you handled it, the way you handled yourself. We trained together. And so, you know, we had interaction quite a bit. 
through this process. And man, I'm so glad that you came in and man, you're playing at an all pro level, man. And, and, and I'm excited for you and your future and your wife's future, Coco. We got to spend some time and uh, I, I'm, I'm happy for you. And uh, when we come back, we get to talk about that lovely lady sitting up front and uh, the really positive things that came out of 2016. So join us, we'll be right back. Do you have old collections appearing as new collections on your credit report? This is a common tactic used by creditors and junk debt buyers. Did you know when they changed the date making that collection account look new, that tactic is illegal and they broke the law? Our computer system has been holding creditors accountable to the law for over a decade. If this is happening to you or someone you know, or you'd just like to have a consultation to find out what you can do to improve your score, call DNG Credit LLC, the Credit Cops, here to protect and serve your credit score. This is Michael Wolkoff, founder of Cantoni. For over 30 years, we have specialized in creating extraordinary spaces. Let our team of talented design consultants translate your ideas and inspiration into a one-of-a-kind design that's everything you imagined and more. Visit cantoni.com to schedule your complimentary consultation. Experience, expertise, innovation, technology, and convenience. These words perfectly describe Titan Sir Dental. When you combine over 30 years of experience with hundreds of hours of advanced clinical training from the top clinicians in the world, the result is an office that offers a wide array of services to meet all of your dental needs. Awarded the best in Denton for the past four years is why patients come to Titan Sir Dental from all over the DFW Metroplex and as far away as Hawaii for their dental care. Over 30 years of experiences in this company on fixing and repairing garage doors and garage door openers. Garage doors never break Monday through Friday 8 to 5. It's normally like 4 o'clock in the afternoon or 6 o'clock at night. Really what I feel is we are a customer service company. We want the customer's experience or the homeowner's experience to far exceed anything that they've ever experienced before. Welcome back to the 25th anniversary season of Inside the Huddle. I'm your host, Tyler Klutz. We'd like to thank all our viewers across Texas. Thank you guys for joining us. We welcome you to the Inside the Huddle family. Uh, as we were talking, we talked about 2015, 2016 being tough years for Ron, but there were some great things that came out of that year. And uh, June this year, something incredible happened to you. Go ahead and talk us through that. Yeah, man, on um, June 25th, you know, I, I mean, uh, I married my best friend, man. Uh, she's out here in the crowd, Coco Leary. Uh, yeah. And, uh, I mean, she's been a real help, you know. Um, she's been with me when things weren't good to when things were good, when they were going up and down, you know. Uh, you know, I commend her a lot. You know, she, uh, she never wavered on me, you know, and she never let me get too down on myself. And what I love about it is just that, you know, she keeps it real with me. Yeah. You know, when I'm when I'm screwing up, oh, she gonna let me know I'm screwing up. <laughs> like she not on, she's not the type of oh, it's okay. You know, if I have a bad game, she like Ron, you need to tighten up. You yeah, had a bad on, game. Come on, pick it up. Right, <laughs> <laughs> right. You know, we sit there, we watch film together. You know, I explain to her, you know, things. She be like, yeah, you could have did that better. And when I do good, you know, she's like, yeah, you did that good. You know, so um, she's been a real backbone for me through this whole process, man. I, and I. You know, I wouldn't trade in for the world. That's awesome. That's awesome. So, got married end of June. Y'all go on a honeymoon. You guys go anywhere fun? Yeah, we went to Antigua, um, out there in the Caribbean. First time going out there. You know, it was it was, it was nice, real quiet. You know, a little nice and a little re relaxation before camp. Nice, man. That's a good way to prep yourself. Yeah. Now, another thing that uh, you guys did on the offensive line, I want to shine some light on. I don't know how much attention it got, but y'all partnered with Ford and uh, Dennis Leary, the actor Dennis Leary. And talk about what you guys did uh, to a local fire station here in Dallas. Yeah, well, it was a local, um, like you said, a local fire station. Uh, man, it was in some bad shape, you know. Yeah, um, station 43 here in right, Dallas. Right, yeah. right. So uh, we kind of teamed up, like you said, with Ford. And uh, we just wanted to help them out, you know. Um, they needed a lot of renovations in the building. So, you know, we kind of teamed up. We got uh, the five guys up. 
Yeah, they didn't know we were coming, so we kind of pulled up on them in the new Ford <laughs> trucks, and they were all excited and everything. And um, just did some renovations in the building, you know. Um, yeah. You know, they do so much for us, man, and to see them in those conditions, you know, it, it kind of hit us hard. You know, we yeah. wanted to help them out, so uh, we did some things to help them out, get, make their living environment a little homier, and uh, Dennis Leary came by. Oh, who, man, he's a character, too. Oh. Oh, he's one of the funniest guys I've ever met. You know, he he told me I was his long lost cousin since we had the same last name, so, you know. Uh, I believe it. I would have I, I thought that just by looking at the two. Right, I was like, yeah. I was like oh, I'm black, you white, but hey, yeah, you say we cousins, we cousins. <laughs> But uh, nah, it was cool, man. We got to That's meet awesome. him. We got to um, get him set up pretty good, and uh, it, was, nice. it was a good deal. Whether it's you know Doug to Tyron and everything in between, uh, man, I, I applaud you guys for what you guys do, what you guys do for the city of Dallas, man. You guys give this city hope. The big oh, yeah. wall of Dallas, man. You guys, you guys do some great things. So thanks for joining us, man. I appreciate you. I don't know, I appreciate you having me, Clay. Thanks for man. sharing your story too, man. It's incredible. No problem. When we come back, we're going to talk to Hawk Custom Pools, and uh, we'll get a sneak peek at some of the work that they're doing around town. Join us. We'll be right back. We process hundreds of thousands of cases a week, millions a year. Fact, if you were to stack all of them end to end, one on top of another, you'd have a case ladder so tall. Stellar Home Theater brings every touchdown to your home with amazing audio and video clarity. Top brands like Epson, Screen Innovations, Control 4, and more. Get a free audio upgrade and remote with every home theater purchase. Buy an Epson laser projector and SI Black Diamond screen and get the Dolby Atmos audio experience free. Call or sign up for a free consultation in the next 24 hours and you're entered to win Inside the Huddle TV show tickets. Visit our five locations or sign up at livestellarnow.com. Stellar Home Theater, the ultimate home cinema experience. At Cantoni, we make it easy to create the space of your dreams. From furniture to flooring to custom kitchens and closets, we bring you the best in modern design in one convenient destination. Whether you are building a new home, starting a renovation, or just shopping for the perfect piece to complete a room, our knowledgeable design consultants can help you bring your vision to life. Visit Cantoni.com to learn more or schedule a complimentary consultation. Welcome back to the 25th anniversary season of Inside the Huddle. Here at Inside the Huddle, we really like to highlight the, the great things that businesses are doing in our community, and I've been really excited about this one, guys. I've had this one circled on my calendar for a while. Uh, we're joined by Hawk Custom Pools. We got Nick and Clayton Hawk. Let's give hey them a guys. hand. So guys, pools. This industry is great in this area, but it's highly competitive. You guys have been in the business. Talk about how you guys started, who started it. Um, just talk about the history of your company. Yeah, so uh, back in 1956, my uh, grandfather started building pools in St. Louis, Missouri. Mm -hmm. And uh, he had a little pool company called Circle Pools. And uh, back then, he would take a grain silo and he'd cut it in half and he'd throw some concrete around it, add a filter and a pump, and add water. And uh, it that it was worked. a swimming pool. And it worked. It worked. Sold yeah. in the 50s. So <laughs> carrying on from there, you know, my dad got into business and it kind of got everything going in Dallas. And then uh, he slowed down a little bit. So now my brother and I kind of took it over and uh, we're building as many pools as we can. Nice. And my, my, my father really, you know, the first few years, he worked hard getting up and going. And then mm -hmm. Once we came on, we really kind of were able to take it to the next level from all yeah. the hard work he'd put into it. You guys are building my pool, and you guys actually have break ground this week. And, uh, and the one thing that was attractive to me, because I searched 
I'm telling you a lot of pool companies. I, I went out and did my research. And uh, the thing I loved about you guys is you guys are a, a family operation and, and you get that family feel and it's not, some pool builders can feel sleazy and salesmen and used car salesmen. Not, you guys are real, you guys are honest and you guys are to the point. Talk about the importance of, of customer service and how you guys treat your customers. Yeah, I think it's important. I mean, uh, you know, I think that when you really take a family approach to it and uh, try to pe treat people as if you'd want to be treated, and I think that's the best way to approach it in a lot of cases. And I think so ever since my father started the company back in 2001, is um, a part of the very fabric and DNA is customer service. Yeah. Um, he came from a customer service industry, and so um, when you start it from the ground floor like that, every it changes the whole culture of the whole, whole company, and every employee that you have working for you, every person there, embraces that culture of customer service. So what sets you guys apart from other builders in Dallas? You know, it's a, it's a very competitive market. Man, I, I think for Clay and I, I mean, our name's over the door. So yeah. I think uh, our biggest fear is to be sitting at dinner somewhere and get that tap on the shoulder saying, hey, my pool's not working, you yeah. know? And so for us, I think it's really, uh, it's one of those things to where we really try to take care of people as if we want to be treated if we're building a pool. Yeah, and you guys, uh, again, you look them up, you guys have been, top pool builder in the country the last few years. I mean, top 25 list mm -hmm. the last few years. Um, you guys' work speaks for itself, not only what you do in the ground, but how you treat your customers. And, mm -hmm. you know, man, it's, it's, it's encouraging uh, to, to have you guys be building my pool, as well as a couple other cowboys you yeah. guys have, yeah, have been yeah. building that clientele as well. We were just talking here with Ron, and, uh, you know, he's in the process of moving up north uh, into Prosper Salina area. So. Oh, yeah. uh, Definitely. I'm sure he'll Definitely. be hitting, hitting you guys up. He told us to talk to his <laughs> wife, and I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Isn't that how it always yeah, works? Yeah, yeah, right. yeah. yeah. I think these pools are about 95% female-induced decisions right. in right. most yeah. cases. Yeah. yeah. So, okay, what's the best way to get a hold of you guys? Uh, uh, our website, you know, everything comes in online. So, mm -hmm. just get on www.hawkcustompools.com, and that's mm -hmm. with the U. And uh, get online, check us out. We've got uh, you know a lot of good pictures of our work on there, and uh, a lot of good contacts. Awesome. Check them out. Look them up on online. The reviews speak for themselves. You guys have done a great job in building that company. And thank you guys for coming on and expect a call from Big Ron. Yeah, thanks for having us. All right, guys. Yeah. Thanks, guys. Join us next week. We would like to thank Ray Salinas and Chris Vanavent, our executive producers. Uh, don't forget to join us January 2nd here at the House of Blues. We'll have Dak Prescott on as our guest. Uh, mark that on your calendars, guys. Appreciate you. Join us next week. Inside the Huddle is presented by HMS, Home Marketing Services. Sponsors of Inside the Huddle include A1 Affordable Garage Doors, Apple Vacations, Armor Wealth Management, Caprock Oral and Maxilla Facial Surgery, Cantoni, Center for Oral and Reconstructive Surgery, Century 21, Champion's Edge, Complete Customs, Contractor Delivery Systems, D&G Credit, The Credit Cops, Dean Dole's Family Dentistry, DFW Improved, Epic Carts, Health Fight Center, Lombardo Custom Apparel, Otterbox, Rieger Dykes Automotive Group, Stellar Home Theater, and Extreme Wraps of Texas. Inside the Huddle is a sports media production. Executive producers Ray Salinas and Chris Vandevenner.